the poverty rate in BC in 2020 would have been 20 percent if there had not been pandemic benefits. Child welfare advocates say they expect more BC kids will soon be living in poverty. A new report says the child poverty rate dropped in 2020 because of pandemic income benefits like SERP, but now those are gone. Those benefits are now withdrawn or they're, they're gone. Uh, the extra child benefit that was added in, gone. So in 2021, 2022, we expect when we get the data that it will be go right back up. First Call's 26th annual child poverty report card says over 13 percent of BC kids were living in poor households in 2020. That's 116,500 children. It's worse for the people at the margins of that number. The poverty rate for kids in lone parent families was 38 percent. As a lone parent, through my experience, I live in a city with no extended family to help with child minding or taking kids to and from school if I had to work. So even before the pandemic, we were already talking about, you know, we're having to get off welfare or something to find employment, but then there's only limited employment, especially when you have children. If there were no government benefits, it would have been, uh, there would have been 153,000 more poor children. So government benefits and income supports made a huge difference. Adrian Montani says continuing income support and adding more rental housing would make a huge difference, along with raising welfare rates and the minimum wage. In a statement, Minister Sheila Malcolmson tells City News in part, it was good to see that 2020 marked a record low for child poverty rates in Canada and in B.C. However, today, people are facing new challenges with cost of living increases due to global inflation. We're determined to do more to help people with the cost of living. The government needs to think about if there's a surplus that's happening right now, maybe putting some of that money towards an increase of welfare, which is one of the biggest struggles of poverty, is finding a home, finding a place to rent. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.